This morning I'm in Delta Park and as you might be able to tell from the dog walkers and cyclists behind me, this is one of Johannesburg's most well-loved and well-used public spaces. Now this over here is the Bramfontein Spreit and the interesting thing about Johannesburg is that it's the biggest city in the world that's not built on a major water source. So while the Spreit might not compare to the Nile or the Thames, it's actually one of Johannesburg's biggest rivers. The interesting thing about the Spreit is that it runs right underneath the inner city up there. But soon after it leaves the city, it opens up into beautiful parkland. And that parkland runs unbroken for about 35 kilometers in that direction. Now the great thing about this extraordinary green belt is that it makes it one of the best birding habitats in Johannesburg. So I've come out here on this freezing cold winter's morning to see what I can see and hopefully get some good photos. I've got a confession to make. I'm not actually a very good birder. I mean, I love birding, but I never seem to dedicate enough time to it. So this morning I've come out in the freezing cold to try and remedy that. I hate those little brown things. And how do you tell the difference between that and that? They look exactly the same. The little brown jobs get me every time. You know, being in that hide reminded me of one of the most amazing wildlife sightings I've ever seen. I was in the Kruger National Park and I decided one afternoon to go and hang out at a little hide at a place called Lake Panic. Now, the name is a little misleading. It's actually this beautiful placid lake with this beautiful little hide. And I spent a couple of hours there just watching the comings and goings of the various little birds and taking photos. And off to the left, there was a pair of fish eagles just hanging out on this tree. They had barely moved the entire afternoon. Now, I'm not sure if you've ever seen a fish eagle, but they're beautiful birds, this white head and this beautiful kind of red russet body. Now, dusk was approaching and I was kind of getting ready to pack up. But out of the corner of my eye, I saw this fish eagle take off and start swooping down over the water. Now, it's always been a dream of mine to watch a fish eagle snatch a fish off the surface of the water. And I thought that this was my opportunity. So I swung my lens around and I just started snapping away like a maniac. Just ch -ch 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 and this eel swooped down over the surface of the water. And as it approached the riverbank, suddenly there was this big splash on the surface. And the eagle pulled up and then went down and attacked again and there was this other, another big splash. And I was just taking photos the whole time. Now, I had assumed that this was a big fish lying in the shallows of the lake. But as I zoomed in on the photos that I'd been taking, I saw that it wasn't a fish at all, but it was actually a baby crocodile about 80 centimeters long. Now that's a big animal for a fish eagle to take. I'd never even heard of a fish eagle attacking a crocodile, so my mind was just like, just blown. But to actually see that and take photos of it, it was one of the most memorable sightings of my life. Now I'm not sure if you can see, but there's these two beautiful green birds sitting up in the tree over there. Those are a species of parakeets but they're not indigenous to Joburg, they're actually from Central Africa. And people love having them in their gardens because they're beautiful and they make this cute little chirping noise. But they're actually quite destructive to some of the local bird species. And the reason for that is that they compete with some local species for the tree holes. Now, tree holes are quite a rare occurrence. And these birds are much better at occupying these tree holes and nesting in them. And that means that the local birds don't have any nesting sites. And because of that, their numbers start to decline. Those big pterodactyl looking birds over there are called hardy does, and they're probably Joburg's most hated bird. They're actually quite pretty. If you look, they've got this beautiful iridescent pink and green color to their feathers. Why people hate them so much is they've got this tendency to park themselves right outside your bedroom window at sunrise and they've got this terrible raucous call. It's like wah, wah. So I'm gonna go and get a little bit of revenge right now. Well I couldn't feel my hands for most of the morning, but I saw some beautiful birds. I got some great photos and most importantly, I had fun. Oh, hey.